This video is sponsored by iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to correctly clean your PS5. So there are several things you're going to need if you're going to be cleaning out your PS5. I always use a cleaning brush. Depending on how far you're going to be going, you're going to be needing some tools. I use the iFixit ProTech Toolkit. If you're needing a good set of precision tools, iFixit has some of the best toolkits around, and right now they're having their best deals of the season. iFixit is also giving Tronix Fix viewers $10 off their order of $50 or more right now when you go to iFixit.com slash TronixFix. I also use a can of canned air, as well as a mini vacuum. So I like to say the PS5 has three stages of cleaning, going from easiest to hardest, so I'm going to start with stage one. To get the cover off, you need to pull up on this corner, then push that way. Then we need to do the same for the bottom cover, pull up and push. Now that we have the covers off, we can see the intake and exhaust areas on the PS5. So here is one intake area, and on the bottom side is the other intake area. So the first stage of cleaning is going to be cleaning these intake fins. And for those, you'll just need something like a cleaning brush that can just really get in there and get any dirt or dust out of these fins. Then you can go along with canned air and clean it all off like that. Once that's done, you can do the same thing on the top side. Clean off any dirt, hair, or debris that gets built up on these fins and then blow it off with canned air. Now, if you have dust buildup on these intake fins, you'll likely have some dust buildup on the top and bottom plastics. What I normally do with any dust that's built up, if it is not loose dust, if it's kind of caked on, you need to loosen it with a brush or something like that. And then once it's loose, I go in with canned air and just kind of blow it off. And then if I really want to get it clean, I use some isopropyl alcohol and something like a paper towel or even a microfiber cloth works fine and then just go through and clean all the dust that is still on the cover. Now, obviously this PS5 is completely clean as these consoles just came out, but I wanted to get a jump on showing you how to clean them just so you can keep your PS5 running cleaner and longer. You can use that same method for the top cover. Now there's one other thing we can do as part of stage one, and that is use this hole and this hole to clean out any dust that builds up down in here. Unfortunately, these are super tiny holes and a regular vacuum, even this mini vacuum, can't even get close to reaching down in there. So if you're trying to clean out the dust from these holes, you'll have to use something with a much smaller hose. You can use something like a data vac, or you can also get kits that have smaller hoses for regular vacuums. But in all honesty, I don't think cleaning out these two holes is really gonna do too much if you have a very dirty console. That's all there is to stage one, and if you clean your PS5 out a lot, then you should be good to go. But if you notice a lot of dust buildup in your fan, then we move on to stage two. Now stage two is gonna take a little bit more disassembly, and you're also gonna need a screwdriver with a T8 security Torx, but a T9 also usually works. You will need to remove this little piece right here, which is pretty easy. We just need to pull up on it, and that gets us started, and then that whole piece will come off. Now after that piece is off, then we can remove these four screws off of this fan plate. And then this plate comes off. We need to remove this black adhesive piece. Then we just need to disconnect the fan. And to do that, I'm gonna grip with my pliers right on the edge of this white plastic piece. This more yellowish plastic piece is connected to the motherboard, so don't pull on that. So you can see how I'm just on that white part. I'm gonna go back and forth while I pull up and that gets the fan connector right off. And now we can remove the fan, just pull it straight up and out. Now to clean the fan on the PS5, it's gonna be the same sort of thing. We're gonna use this cleaning brush to just get in and clean any dust off of the fans. Anything that is caked on and just won't come off with a vacuum or with canned air, I'll just go through and clean off with the brush and then you can also come on the back side do the same thing and then also down in here and then after it's loose we can come in with a vacuum and vacuum it up and then we can do the same thing on this top side just go in with a cleaning brush clean out any caked on dirt and dust then we can go in with a vacuum or canned air and get the dust out so once the fan is completely clean, we can also get to the heat sinks from right inside the fan hole. In order to do that, we just need to flip it up like this 
And then you can see the heat sink right here. There's also another heat sink back in here further. Once again, I'll be using this cleaning brush to clean off the heat sink. And I'm just gonna get it as far back as I can safely without jamming it in. And I'll just go along and clean any dust off of the fins like this. Now on a console that has a lot of dust buildup, we'll need to go in with a vacuum and just suck all of that out. You can use canned air if necessary, but a vacuum is nice because it just gets all of the dust and pulls it into the vacuum instead of using canned air where that just pushes dust all around everything else. Also, if you notice a thick layer of dust and debris on these heat sink fins, you definitely need to clean that out because that will cause overheating. But more importantly, you need to locate your PS5 somewhere else because it's just picking up way too much dirt and hair and debris. And it's just gonna keep having this problem if you leave it where it is. So that's the end of stage two. Hopefully that's enough cleaning and you can just put it together from there. But if you still have a lot of dirt and dust buildup inside your PS5, then we need to move on to stage three. For stage three, we're gonna be removing this cable. We're gonna remove this top case, and then we're gonna remove the motherboard and heat sink sandwich out of the PS5 so then we can do further cleaning. Don't forget the expandable hard drive slot screw and the silver screw on the disk drive. And then we can remove the plastic midframe from the PS5. Once that's removed, we can remove the disk drive. We need to push down on this silver lock and then wiggle the ribbon cable out. And then we can remove the disk drive. Now with the disk drive out, we need to remove this ribbon cable, these cable connectors here, this ribbon cable, this ribbon cable, Once those are all removed, we need to remove this black screw over here. We need to flip it over and remove this screw and this screw. Now we can flip it back over. And now is the fun part. We have to remove 41 screws from around this metal plate. We don't need to remove this screw right here or this screw right here. And with those 41 screws removed, then we can remove this top plate. Before I do too much with this top plate, I do want to mention it is important to clean this heat sink as well. And it's the same process with this brush. Just clean out the fins using this side of the brush or this side. Now we can disconnect this huge ribbon cable right here. Then we can lift out the motherboard and heat sink sandwich. There we go. The first thing you wanna do with your PS5 once you get that out is clean out the power supply vent holes. You can see right here, there's a whole bunch of holes for the power supply. Air goes in there and exits over here just to help keep the power supply cool. And we use the same method we'll go through with this cleaning brush and then go through with the vacuum or canned air to remove all of the dirt from around the power supply. Once the power supply is clean, we can worry about the heat sink fins. Now to clean out the heat sink on the PS5, we can tip it up like this and then take the cleaning brush and get it down as far as we can in the fins without jamming it down there too far and then sweep up just like this. And that will remove any dust that's caked onto the fins of the PS5. And then we'll wanna do the same thing on this side. The small end of the brush really gets into these tighter spaces easier. And then the same thing over here. Now what I usually do is I'll go through with the vacuum and vacuum out the fins after I've loosened the dust. And then after that, I'll take some canned air and blow out any loose dust back through the fins out the other side of the heat sinks. Once these heat sinks are completely clean, then we're done with stage three. Now all there is left to do is assemble the PS5. I'll be basically just working backwards from when I took it apart and we'll first install the motherboard. Then we can install this plate with the 41 screws. Just to speed this process up a little bit. And once those are all installed, we need to install this black screw over here. Then we flip it over and install the two black screws on the bottom. One goes here and one goes here. 
Then we can flip it back over and install all the ribbon cables and Wi-Fi Bluetooth connectors. Once those are all installed, we can put the disk drive back in. Be sure that the holes are lined up on the disk drive before you put on the plastic midframe. Then we can install all the screws and these cables. Then we put the cover on the expansion drive slot. Next is the fan. and the fan cover. Next, the plastic vent piece goes on. We've got one little tab here and one little tab here. So one tab is gonna go over here. The other is gonna go right in here. Then it just clips down like that. Don't forget the plastic cover that goes over these wires. And then the bottom cover goes on. And then the top cover. And that is how you clean the PlayStation 5. Be sure to check out all of iFixit's great deals going on now through the end of the year at ifixit.com slash tronicsfix. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one.